one of the common issues when following along with code tutorials, data tutorials, whatever, as you can see with me demonstrating here with one of my videos, is copy and pasting text from videos. It's something that's not widely acknowledged. It's also available with extensions like this one with a no code solution. So that's really quick and powerful. And it just requires a little bit of tweaking. So how do we go about this? Well, there's something called the black box extension. You can actually get this through Google Chrome browser. You can get this through the add-on through Microsoft Edge. Um, but if you want to find it, you can simply Google Chrome black box extension. It's gonna come up with this. Um, this page that we can go through um, and what we what we get here is the Chrome Web Store when we we click through and we have the option just to add this extension as you can see there there's some uh, some videos some documentation and overview but the core message here is it's really impressive that you can use this to get a very accurate code snip uh, I'll be looking at one of my videos in SQL to demonstrate this but if you were using something like Python going into more statistical or machine learning avenues and you've got a lot longer scripts this would be really beneficial if you want a good starting point to follow along with tutorials so you can simply click uh, to add the extension and we'll be taken through to the uh, the sign up page what you can do i'm just going to sign up with my gmail account get rid of these pop-ups uh, and Upon doing that, um, I will just select to to go ahead with the free version. Um, will provide us with exactly what we're looking for within this context. Simply extracting text from from videos. Um, so once we've got that sorted, you can just click continue for free, and from there we'll have everything we require in this extension, and we'll look at using this within a real scenario. So there we go. We're on the free plan be a few of those pop-ups again, get rid of those. And again, you can feel feel free to actually go ahead and explore the, the black box documentation here if you like. But we're going to move into our actual worked example here. So as you can see, I'm on one of my, my YouTube tutorials, uh, displaying subtotals and grand totals uh, using SQL code, more specifically transact SQL within SQL Server. Now, this isn't a long script, as I said, but it would still be beneficial if you wanted to follow along with the tutorial. So I'm going to demonstrate how easy this is with Blackbox to simply highlight some code, copy uh, this to the clipboard, and then simply dump it into our SQL environment uh, with Control V. Of course, you could deposit this anywhere uh, as you normally would with copy and paste. So we want to navigate along to our, our toolbar at the top and you'll see the jigsaw piece uh, representing extensions. And when you click on the black box option, it gives you this nice cross here. All you need to do now is left click and drag at the specific code that you want. You don't need to press control C or copy. You will see that it will have a pop up saying the text has successfully been copied. And what we can do in my case, I'm just going to move into the SQL environment I have, SQL Server Management Studio, and we can dump this in. You'll see there are a few little errors here. In other scripts I've copied, there haven't been any errors at all, but either way, um, happy to tweak a few lines and a few areas of code if it means that we get a, a head start on where we'd normally be. Of course, with a lot of tutorials, uh, they're not linked to GitHub repositories. They're not linked to sort of any logs or repositories. Um, so this is really helpful, especially if you're just starting to get to grips with the topic uh, and want a decent avenue to, to follow, especially if the code's quite generic. This can be really helpful. As I said, there are use cases where this would be more beneficial than others, especially within longer scripts. Uh, maybe if you're doing some more uh, software development type things. But either way, it's something that that really needs to be explored, especially now when we have a whole host of other tools to make our lives easier, such as NLP models like ChatGPT. So give it a try, add it to your arsenal of tools. Uh, and if you like the content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.